Karen Lemos. Bianca Cruz. Brandon Franco. Diana Alfaro Vasquez. My name's Diego Gomez. My name's Elise Fletcher. My name is Jasmine Colbrenner. Lena Zaragoza. My name is Mina Vasquez. Ramon Martinez. Um, I go by the name of Ray. Ricardo Gonzalez. It's Steven Hernandez. Long story, um, I had a brother at the time who was in college and he was working at his college radio station and um, it was probably the best college radio station in the country, still actually is one of the best still, KXLU at Loyola Marymount. And he went from that college radio station to a major rock station in LA at the time called KMET and I got to go see him work there and I got to go to concerts and all this stuff and I'm like wow this is a life for me so originally I wanted to go into radio not television it was always radio 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 in fact I did that all through college I attend the uh, architecture digital design and filmmaking magnet of John F Kennedy High School uh, I started to take this film class uh, in 2017 of sophomore year I decided to take this film class because I'm really into animation and the the other strands of the magnet didn't really seem to call to me, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I've always had a desire for filmmaking ever since I was younger. Me and my cousin would make short skits and films and we'd just upload them. They were terrible, but we'd still make it anyways and like we just kept doing that for a while. Even in uh, middle school for projects, I'd like to do like I like to make videos instead of doing an actual presentation because I'd rather read from a script and do a voiceover rather than give a presentation in front of my class. So I took the easy way out and did film and all in all it just created a better outcome. So when I found out that this school offered a filmmaking program, uh, I knew that that was where I wanted to be. We had that class in Shapiro where you do the three tests and so our first project was the architecture, that was boring. And then I was like, oh, tight, I'm getting into my graphic design. Like, I'm finally getting into the graphic design part. And I started doing that, and it was boring. I won't lie to you and tell you that my friend's decisions didn't have, you know, <laughs> something to do with it, because yeah. it definitely did. I think a lot of my friends were considering film as well. You know, one of the things I remember doing was a claymation um, little film project yeah. in Ms. Shapiro's class. Um, that was one of the things that stuck out. We did a spy versus spy. It was like this old Matt TV skit where it was like these two characters always kind of like attacking each other. And then so I came up with that idea and I was like, oh, let's do that and let's like have them fight and everything. So we did the claymation project and I, that, it kind of like just exploded. Expressing art is really my, my, my passion in my life. So I just felt like it would be a new way to express express myself. Mm -hmm. the visual poetry is really like what I like to call it. In this class, honestly, there are challenges, obviously, you yeah. know? 
And you, as the person of whoever, what you are in your production, whether you be the DP, the gaffer, the director, you have to solve those challenges yeah, creatively. Mm -hmm. So I would say that this class is definitely, it's a challenge, but not in a bad way, you know? I, I, look, I, look, I, I look to overcome the, the challenge. It's just like that saying what they say, like, you could guide a horse to water, but you can't make it drink it. And I felt like his class was all about that. Like you had different students come, but they didn't really give too much interest about the class. They just needed to get the elective mm -hmm. out the way. But there's those percentage of students that really took it serious, was hoping, was really looking forward to go to his class every day, you know? So it was one of those that either you have interest in it or you don't, not everybody has it. Yeah, it hurt. It, it it really hurt me to drop film. Like I like I figured out that I needed to be a teacher in a night, and then the next day I went and did all of the changes, and it was like it it, it hurt. <laughs> the first four hours of my day, I was just crying because <laughs> I loved film so much, but it just it had to be done. It, it had to be. Yeah, it was time to move on. You know what, at the time, I was that type of student that did not do any of the, his homeworks. Honestly, it was something that, at the time, I, of course, regret. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I was really hands-on getting creative to the projects that he gave us mm -hmm. as a group. I think I was just more of a student. Mm -hmm. I was just there, just played my position, just five questions, I asked them, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but I wasn't... I wouldn't want to say um, I was his favorite or he probably remembers me. Mm -hmm. I was just there just being the student and just there to get my job, you know, the job done. Mm -hmm. I think people drop their final year in film because they got, like, I think if I remember correctly, they had to do the two-year minimum for one, like, like, like my brother said, like, you had to do only yeah. two years, right? So, like, you don't have to do that third year in that major. So, I just think that they didn't care. They got their two out of the way and they went to go do something easier so they didn't have to like... Because they weren't interested in any, any of the major, any of the magnets, which is fine, you know? That's like... I mean, people in my film class are English majors. Other people are psychology majors that I graduated with. I mean, you know, it's not for everyone. Yeah. So it just probably wasn't... Up, it wasn't for them. It, it really did just click. Because Lemos, he, he's really good at like... I think he does. He still do the, uh, the like the black and white videos. Yeah, like, yeah. Like he started <laughs> off with, like he started off with the black and whites and uh, just talking about film history and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is great. This is awesome. This is fun. Like it really was pretty instant for me at least. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is what I want to do. Because some people they're creative when when they have paint and a canvas. Yeah. When they have a pencil and a or a pen on on paper yeah. some other people are creative when it comes to digital design mm -hmm. or when they're structuring houses mm -hmm. or when they're building a website but for me I feel like it's just a video that I, a story that I want to tell so mm -hmm. to me film is just creativity and how I how I branch out my creativity I felt excited throughout the class like yeah. just learning about film it's really interesting to me and I like learning how to use like Premiere Pro and learning about lighting and all that stuff. I am serious about film. Mm -hmm. I may have my other passions and I may have my other goals and I may get into a major or a career that's totally different from this class. Yeah. But I'm not in the mindset that's like, Oh, I spent two years in this class and I'm just trying to get my credits. I'm not trying to be a quitter. Mm. I'm not that student because I genuinely am serious about film. Yeah. And it is something that I do want to study in. And what's the best advice you could give for future filmmakers? Work with the creativity. Like, listen to people. Learn how to communicate with others. Stay on top of their assignments and like focus on schedules and stuff like that. Always use a tripod. You know, just stay focused. Do your homework. Read every day. Um, watch a lot of movies. And don't... Um, don't try to steal other people's works, but pay homage.